Writing Guide for GOI 1115 Anderson Robotics. At this point you may or may not desire to write your very own Anderson Robotics tale, article, or GOI format. For those of you in the former category, below are several ops and ends to consider in your writing to give your work that trademark AR feel. For those in the latter category, you might still find the following points interesting. These are, of course, merely suggestions. If you have a need slash nifty direction, you want to take this GOI that breaks from the following, more power to you. The dream of the 90s. Anderson Robotics officially was founded in 1994 after Vince and Anderson and Albert Phineas Frostman created the company in Portland, or. This of course implies that AR articles take place after this time. There was, of course, events that happened before this founding, but generally you should be shooting for 1994 or later. Location founded in Portland, Oregon, Anderson Robotics Tales and Articles have a tendency to take place on the West Coast, specifically the Pacific Northwest. There are exceptions, of course. SCP-2987 is currently the most popular AR article, and it takes place in the Deep South, and the hub is state that the company has begun to spread to New Mexico and Arizona. A thing for Falcons. A running joke within the Anderson Robotics GOI is that all their products are named after various species of falcons. There is no real reason for this, but it has stuck to a degree, so you may or may not want to keep up the naming scheme. Then again, there is always room to break the mold. Where magic and science merge. A big part of Anderson Robotics' business model is that their products combine magic and technology into a seamless whole. Both of the company's co-founders have been shown to be skilled thaumaturges and in the tale Vince and Anderson described the process of creating the AIS for his drones and robots as, in the same sense that the soul pilots the meat ship that is the human body, I created a simple intelligence to pilot the circuits of this little guy. Feel free to include both sides of the magic and technological coin in your writing, but remember that branding something as cutting-edge technology tends to win a wider audience than branding it as cutting-edge magic. That small company feel. As stated earlier in this hub, Anderson Robotics only has a few hundred employees at most, making it a smaller company than a massive software giant or computer manufacturer. This makes the company rather nimble, but the smaller manpower also makes them vulnerable. You've got a friend in me. As with other guests, Anderson Robotics has its friends and enemies among the anomalous community. They tend to be on friendly terms with the Maxwellists, who purchase their cybernetics and AI tech for their own goals, as well as Marshall Carter and Dark, who uses Anderson as a supplier of androids and drones for its members, though a small faction of AR employees dislike this partnership. Additionally, after the collapse of Promets Labs, many of their scientists jumped ship to work at the then-fledgling startup. The rest of the gang is not dedicated to normalcy preservation tend to hold neutral views of Anderson Robotics, so far, treating the firm as any other anomalous merchant group. It is only the SCP Foundation who currently is actively hostile towards AR products and personnel. However, alliances rise and fall, and the world of GOI politics does change rapidly. Retaliation, not aggression. The theme of all of Addison's robotics actions against the SCP Foundation is that they have always been in retaliation, and usually with the goal of recovering apprehended employees or captured products. After all, there is little money in attacking the Foundation unprovoked, and a direct fight with the SCPF is one that AR would lose. Badly. Footnotes. 1. Due to the use of secure units in Anderson's workforce, it's difficult to pinpoint an exact number of employees. 2. SMI's lawbringers. 3. This not only includes Candy and the Global Occult Coalition, both of whom have multiple supply contracts with Anderson Robotics, but also that Church of Maxwellism, who hold favorable views of Anderson Robotics products and personnel.